Hello everyone, and welcome back to Thoughts, Feelings, Emotions Presents The Big One. I'm your host, Daniel Frankham, and we're joined as always by everyone's, you know, favourite <laughs> thing, I guess. Dan! Um, but thanks for the reassurance at the start of the episode. It makes me so happy to have You're that. You're welcome. I'm glad. I try. I try so hard to make these entertaining. <laughs> Obviously. And uh, speaking of entertaining, Dan, WandaVision's over. And now what are we going to do with our lives? I mean, in I a week. I don't know. Just cry. Falcon the Hibernate? Winter Soldier comes yeah. out. That's true. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, and so we thought we'd take the time to talk about what the future of Marvel holds. So... Why, why yeah, talk? so like a, we should have like a general chit chat, nothing kind of too structured. We're just going to talk about Marvel yeah. for however long the podcast's going to be. Yeah, do you want to just how long to get forward? Yeah, <laughs> just talking about shooting some shit, see what like the upcoming projects, stuff we want to see in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, stuff that like crazy predictions that we can think, and then just pretty much anything. Dan, do you want to kick us off with what you want to talk about? Yeah, so I've kind of split up. I've got a few notes here, like kind of. And I split between like the near future, the far future, and the end of Marvel. So we're looking at kind of like very well, far. Well, Dan, future. Marvel will never end. It's <laughs> it's never going to end. We'll get we'll Funny get enough, a Star Wars Marvel crossover before it ends. <laughs> Once Disney I'm looking can forward to it. Every ounce of their property, we will get a. This this will never end. Do you think they might actually do that? No. I really hope they don't. <laughs> they will. Once it will be the beginning of the end of the world. I imagine if they do. Yeah, maybe. It will just be... And people will buy it. And I'll probably go see it. I'll be like, what the fuck, why not? I don't think I would. I don't think I'd want to see it at that I'd point. I'd just do it out of sheer curiosity at that point. But yeah, what do you want to talk about? Well, the, my, the first prediction I've got is actually No Way Home will not be a multiverse, multiverse film. Oh, so you're thinking the same way. Uh, spoilers for WandaVision. It's out. If you want to hear our thoughts, go back to the previous TBO. Uh, so you're thinking Evan Peters is Quicksilver not being Quicksilver. And it would just be yeah, basically. Tom Holland meeting a person who looks like Andrew Garfield and a person who looks like Tobey Maguire. Most likely. Really? You don't think they'll... Uh, I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> At this point, I'm not going to be surprised. Yeah, I mean, it's possible. It would be a real... I don't think they could do it twice. That's the thing. I don't think you could get away with it twice. I mean, at the same time... Quicksilver is loved in those X-Men films, but not as loved as, like, the Spider-Mans. Especially, like, Andrew Garfield's come back from, like, like being the most hated to actually getting some love, because I quite like those movies. They're not perfect. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. But not as much as everyone hated it. I mean... Yeah. Pacing was a bit off. I would have liked to to see a third film, that's the thing. But I'm happy that Tom Holland got his chance to shine. Yes. Like, out of all of Um, it, I'm happy that Tom Holland got... I think it's just my my prediction is based off the fact how like the nerds of the universe just like creating loads of hype and from absolute nowhere. Yeah. For example, all of one division yeah. where they just kind of created mad theories based off of nothing. Well, there was some stuff there, but like they, they it was more about grief and whatnot from that storyline, and it wasn't all about you know expanding. The, like I think they teased it, and I think. Like people's expectations got a little too far out of the way. Like, I don't think they were gonna do bring the X Men into a TV show, like that. No. And I just think maybe you should lower your expectations a little bit. It would have been cool if they did, but I don't think they would. Because I don't think, I don't think, I don't think they'd put something as, like maybe they'll do it with Falcon and the Winter Soldier. We don't know. This. This. I think the worst part was like Paul Bettany. Just saying, oh, as a guy I want to work with for so long. See, the thing is, that was the headlines taking it out. Because if you actually watch the video, you can yeah, clearly know, tell yeah. he is joking. <laughs> like, I need to talk about himself. Yeah, you can t- clearly tell he's joking <laughs> and he's like, oh, shit, people didn't watch the interview. They just read the headline of Paul Bettany saying he wants to work with someone really important. And it's just, <laughs> it just goes, it's kind of like fans just taking one small bit and then just blowing it out of proportion. I mean... Which is kind of my point, and I'm kind of worried if this this is what's happening with No Way Home. Uh, there's a lot of hype surrounding this film. Yeah. And I'm worried it's overhyped now. So I've since watching One Division, I've dialed back all of my hype. See, I was what I see the no thing I was watching all those fan theories and stuff, but even then, I wasn't expecting half of it, and I was just like, ah, oh, if they do, that'll be cool. If they don't, yeah, it's fine. I just want to see what the story. The only one I kind of 
I was hoping was the Evan Peters one, mainly because he was already in the episode. Yeah, see, I was kind of just, I don't like his X-Men character, so I'm just like, <laughs> I would be fine if they didn't bring him over. That's my thing. I just, I like, I like the MCU one. I'm sad that the MCU one's dead. And I was just kind of like, I don't want Evan Peters. I don't like his X, like his Quicksilver. It's just too douchebaggy. Like, I, I mean, he's a douchebag in one division. hypes <laughs> the shit out of those X-Men, uh, like Quicksilver scenes, and they're all bad. Like, the only goodish one is the first one and even then it's pointless because it's just like well we got him out of prison and now we don't need you even though your skills would be immensely useful bye and that's just <laughs> what they do they just have him for one scene that is, that is and they don't they do. use him for anything else more mc i, I do actually wish a fast scenes i would like him to be in more of the episodes but it kind of wasn't it was good in those all right but yeah i think maybe you're right on the uh i i, I still think they'll probably do multiverse with spider-man I hope they do, but I, like I said, I'm not getting my hopes bring... up. And if they do multiverse, I still reckon. I don't think it's going to be. If we're big. going multiverse, I reckon if they did it, they would do Deadpool comes through. Yeah, because yeah, Ryan definitely. Reynolds... Uh, that's actually another one of my predictions because Ryan Reynolds is 100 percent getting Deadpool free, and yes, I reckon if they were going to bring the X Men over, they'd use Deadpool. And if they did Deadpool, they'd do it through Spider Man because Spider Man and Deadpool have a lot of. Uh, like ties in the comics, and if they wanted to, yeah, then you also get the Tom Hardy Venom universe and the uh, vampire Jared Leto movie that's coming out. More because, as far as I'm aware, Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire are not confirmed. No, for the No Way Home, Tom Holland has and said we'll... they're not in in the yeah. film. And I mean, so far all we've got is the actors from the movies like Doc Ock and uh, Jamie yeah. Foxx's Mysterio, uh, not uh, Electro. So at this point, unless I'm confirmed, other, like actual confirmed otherwise, I don't believe there will be other Spider-Man in there. I don't want them to uh, confirm it even if they are, because I hate that. I know, 100% not, but I'm not believing it. <laughs> by point. No. I'm not going to believe it unless I see it. Yeah. Because otherwise, if you believe it and it doesn't happen, you're just going to be really disappointed in that film. No, no, it depends on the... I, I, I would be disappointed, but I'd understand why they wouldn't do it. Like, yeah. I'm not... if, you, if, you, if you don't believe it in the first place, you're not going to be disappointed. <laughs> True. But I always I always just... I believe the fan theories, and then, like, with Endgame and Infinity War, I was just, like, building up the hype and the hype and the hype, and then I was just... As soon as I went to the movie, all that hype died, and I was just engrossed in the movies. And I just kind of let all those theories and stuff fade. And I didn't. Well, luckily, most of like people's theories about Endgame were pretty true. <laughs> See, all the ones I was thinking were some of them. Like I was dead worried that Iron Man would get killed in Infinity War, and then as soon as he gets stabbed yeah. by Thanos, I'm like, "Fuck, no, no, don't do it, don't do it." <laughs> and, then like, no. and then they um, then he they, then he doesn't die, and I was like, "Fuck, okay, what are they doing?" And then Endgame, they kill him, and I'm like, "No," and that was <laughs> ah. I think you cried. Yeah. I did. I did. Genuinely cried. <laughs> I cried three times because I went and saw that film three times. Each three of the times I watched it in cinemas, I cried. And then when I watched it at home, I cried. Still makes me tear up. <laughs> genuinely, such a sad moment. Generally fucking kills me every time I watch that scene. Especially because uh, Tom Holland, uh, someone fucking made the worst comment about it and it fucking kills me every time. Because of Spider-Man's enhanced senses, he can feel Tony Hart, uh, Stark's heartbeat stop. Or slow. Mm. And I was just like, you fucks, why'd you make me do this? <laughs> why'd you make me think of that? <laughs> ah, makes it even sadder for you every time you watch it. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe that's why he's so depressed in um, Far From Home. Because, like, he was there. He experienced all the pain. But yeah. Do you reckon the, um, because we got J. Jonah Jameson from, um, what's his face's movie? Andrew Gar no, Tom, Toby Maguire's universe. Because hmm. the thing is, the order's all been moved around because originally we were meant to be getting like a couple things. Like, we were meant to get Winter Soldier and Black Widow and Shang-Chi and Eternals all before WandaVision. So, do you think they've had to yeah, that's true. shift some stuff around in WandaVision and we haven't had reveals that we were meant to have? And then, so like, I reckon with the Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness, you would have probably maybe had teasers of stuff in Eternals and stuff like that. And, I mean, maybe. And then so it's hard to tell. Just, you may or Black Widow maybe there would have been 
I don't know how Black Widow is going to go. I really want to watch Black Widow. God damn it, Disney. Just I know you want to watch it in cinemas, but I kind of just want to watch it now at this point. Well, there's rumours that um, the person who takes a mantle on from will be um, Scarlett Johansson. Pews, White yeah, Widow. they were going to be in uh, Falcon Winter Soldier. Yeah. So maybe, but I don't. I think they would have probably. It would have probably been an end credit, and they would have probably cut it by now. Yeah, I don't think it's not going to be much. Because I think um, Kevin Feige basically stated all oh, these TV shows, like they're not. They're, meant, they're used to be setting up the films they're used and to stuff. Backstory or like building blocks basically give you more of a reason for like lesser characters to get more screen time yeah it's, it's not kind of similar to what star wars is doing so star wars is like creating new kind stories of each, yeah creating new stories in their own universe that's not really affected by the films except Whereas when they bring ones Skywalker are like, back and they were like yeah well but if other than that, that your fat nostalgia you know um and we brought both back like, yeah. and, you know all of that we're trying to make them separate, but we're bringing them all back. We're making it. <laughs> As Marvel is, they basically stated that yes, these are setting up the films. Scarlet, uh, One Division was. They said it was setting Doctor up Strange. Doctor Strange too. And speaking of Doctor, looking forward to that film. Yeah. So, what do you think is gonna be? Do you think old Baron Mordo from Doctor Strange One is gonna be the main antagonist? And how do you reckon Wanda is gonna tie into it? Do you reckon she'll create universes? Or do you reckon she'll be looking for her kids now? Um, well, I did watch a theory on this. So they think, do you know at the end you hear the, you hear her kids? Yep. They think, I think it's quite likely, is that that is another multiverse. Right. Another universe with her kids. And then Wanda's basically just going to try to get her kids from the universe. And then Doctor Strange is going to come in and basically be like, what are you doing? Um, and supposedly there's another being in the Marvel Universe, which is Chaos Magic. Right. And it's like this massive entity. And people are thinking that might be the villain for Doctor Strange 2. See, I was reckoning that it may be... Because everyone was going Mephisto, Mephisto, Mephisto for the big bad at the end of WandaVision. For no reason, realistically speaking. Well, they had the devils in the details, all the little kind of hints and stuff that... <laughs> it yeah, was never no, really there. It, <laughs> it was kind of just like wording and like that's popping it into it and you're kind of just like, well... They don't have to do it if they want to. They can set it up, and then if they do do it, you're like, oh, yeah, there's all the hints, but then they're just doing it, maybe. So I was thinking maybe the end is Mephisto, now that she's got the Dark Old, and that's the tie to the Dark, like, hell on stuff, that's now Mephisto getting a hold of Wanda, using her kids to, like, get her to open up the reality to hell or something, and that will bring Mephisto into the fight. So... You know, that's yeah. A, I'm just, I'm just kind of, I'm like, just trying to find something. Um, another theory was it would be the creator of the Darkhold in in the comics. Oh, okay. So it was maybe like a, another entity, like kind of big being that created the Darkhold, and supposedly by opening it, that like, you can summon him. Oh. Do you reckon they'll gender swap? Um, because they. Ah, I wouldn't be surprised. Because <laughs> they like. Def- <laughs> I mean, it doesn't matter uh, ultimately. But no. They do like doing that. They like gender swapping or. Do. I don't really no, care. I really don't give a shit. If they do it, I, it's like, like, I I've never, watch it well, I've never even heard of these characters. Like when they did it with uh, the ancient one, I didn't realize. I was just like, oh, okay, cool. Just whatever. Just make the characters yeah. decent, and I don't care. <laughs> well, the dark was like a really big thing in Marvel. I didn't realize how big it was. It's like it's a huge thing. No, yeah, they wasted it on Agents of Shield first. Yeah, the Marvel like, nah, 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 nah. We're not doing this. We want the Dark Hole back because we got so much more stuff we want to do from it. Yeah, because th- that's what brings in Ghost Rider, Blade, brings in all that. So that's all that's connected to yeah, it. Yeah, I want to know what they're gonna do with Blade because it's one of the act. It's not R rated. I will be because I no, they said, said it isn't. So it's PG thirteen. Yeah, that's disappointing because I mean the other Blades are rated. So why not? They've got yeah, Deadpool it's, now. It's Disney. <laughs> yeah, but Disney now has that because if they're going to do it, they now have their platform where they can host it, and they've got Deadpool three coming out as well rated. So yeah, I don't think if they I don't, did Deadpool three PG thirteen, there'd be way more backlash. I think there'll also be backlash if they make Blade because Blades originally also R rated. But the difference is like Blade came out a very long time ago now. Yeah, but still, 
Deadpool t- came up very recently. People, people, people will still be upset. Deadpool. I guarantee you, people will still be upset. Oh yeah, people will. Like, be upset. It's, it's like, like the making days. a Punisher not... or like PG thirteen. Like the uh, the Netflix series is R rated and it's fucking incredible. And so I'd be sad if they don't at least bring those characters back now that they've got the Netflix rights off of them again. So, like that's the thing. Do you reckon that rumor of um? Daredevil showing up in like Spider Man or uh, She Hulk might be true. I don't know. I uh, well, my question is based off of what <laughs> you've just said. Because this. one, she well, like Spider Man needs a lawyer because he's going to probably get like. T- well, I know it's you don't even yeah, know. I know we don't know what the plot is, but he's <laughs> yes, on the run. Right. He's, he's had his identity leaked basically in the last one, as per the post credit. And what are the ramifications? Are they just going to drop it on the floor and so fan speculation is that he'll get taken to court to be put on trial for his crimes or whatever even though no superheroes seem to get put on trial for their crimes like wonders is just allowed to you know hang out in a cabin after keeping a trap town trapped and then for she hulk it's like well she's a lawyer he's a lawyer why wouldn't they be in a trial at some stage Defending. I mean, I can understand why it would happen, but once again, yeah, like, I mean, you it's, just base this off of absolutely like nothing. It. That's the it's just people wanting it to happen because it's like, but if it yeah, doesn't, serve, th- that's a dangerous game. Yeah, if it doesn't serve anything, well, this is the, this is the whole episode is speculation, Dan. So we're playing, we're yeah. playing a dangerous game. <laughs> but um, very quickly, the uh, the god that I was talking about is called Sithon, or it's spelled C H T H O N, and it's the god of chaos. That's what people are thinking might be the uh, enemy in Doctor Strange 2. Yeah, I mean, I've I've heard a lot of theories about who the thing is. There's so many theories of Doctor Strange Well, there's too. so much backstory that you can take from. So, I mean, there's just an... Because yeah, well, it's multiverse. There's so many different possibilities you could do. No. I still want... A I reckon of... they'll do X-Men through uh, Doctor Strange 2. See, I don't think they would. I think... See, I would say if they're going to do it, they would probably do it through maybe quantum mania because maybe i reckon you know when ant-man and the wasp uh ant-man uh the wasp's mum or whatever has powers at the end of it for no reason and she can just heal that phasey girl hmm. i reckon that's gonna be the x like mutation like all the, t- the like all the time travel bullshit is gonna be sort of warped and expand or something and then they'll just get powers like that because it will inherently unlock it at some stage now that the time stone is in the universe and whatnot and like my theory is that the time stone the reality stone all those gems and stuff yeah i mean that makes sense i I can see that happening if people haven't heard well my theory is that the when fano snapped his fingers he didn't destroy the stones he shattered them so that they're no longer stones and they're just part of the fabric of the reality now because it's stated that you can't have a universe without the stones because otherwise it would just cr- collapse and crash itself or whatever and it would just mm. everything would come and attack it so in order to create but still have things work he snapped his fingers dismantled the stones and put them into the fabric of the reality so now the f- all of those powers and everything are spread across the universe and so if people have some sort of thing in them they'll start mutating and get x-men powers maybe yeah, um, I it's, I don't think it it's is. out think, there, but <laughs> be nice. I think to bring in X Men, they have to use Scarlet Witch. Yeah, they'll definitely use Scarlet Witch. But I mean, yeah, never know. And that's why I think it'd be Doctor Strange too. I want to know how they're going to fold the Fantastic in. Four in, because well, they can already be there. Yeah, they they've said that the potential of a sixties Fantastic Four, and then they get sent, and then they time, and then they come back. So I reckon. Maybe the Fantastic Four will get introduced through Quantumania because that's going to deal with time. Because the big bad is um Kang, who's like a time travel yeah, guy. Yeah, Kang the Conqueror. And so maybe it will be they rip the Fantastic Four back from the time of the 60s and that's how they get their powers maybe. And then who knows? I think Disney said they want to do an, a proper origin story because well, Fox hasn't done a proper one really. They kind of just done their own the first take on it. Fantastic Four movie, well, second because there was one in like the eighties or nineties or something that was terrible, <laughs> and then the two thousand. Yeah, that one's closer, but they didn't. 
because um dr doom was supposed to be reed Richards' best friend at school yes i, I really and they haven't done that well they tried to make them friends and fan four stick and that was mm. no but that, that wasn't even then that, that wasn't was um, him and dr doom that was him and that was him ben. becoming plastic man <laughs> Black plastic yeah, no. man who had green lights on his face for whatever reason and a bin bag over his costume. <laughs> so stupid. Ah, how do you ruin that design? <laughs> Such an iconic yeah. and cool design and they fuck it up and it's just like, well, okay. I mean, it will be interesting. How do you reckon? I, I... No, no, yeah. go on, go on. My... I was because I was, I'm really looking forward to Fantastic Four as well. Yeah, it's... um. Guy who's doing Spider Man, so thing yes, is the uh, John Watts. Yeah, the thing is, everyone was kind of saying that maybe the dude who did Ant Man and the Wasp and whatnot, Peyton Reed, was going to do it because he's been trying to get a Fantastic Four movie for ages, and then they just mm. gave it to the guy who's doing Spider Man. So I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it seems... Poor Peyton Reed. Yeah, it seems just cut. Kind of... I want him to have a film. I know he did the first Ant Man, but I want him to have an actual film. Didn't he do like the? Fucking Melissa McCarthy wedding movie or whatever it was. Isn't that him? He's done a lot of films. Yeah. I mean, I, I think he's alright as a director. I think I'd prefer the Spider-Man dude, just because I like the Spider-Mans more. Oh, wait, I got confused. I mean, I didn't, I didn't mean to write. I mean, Edgar Wright. Oh, Edgar I, I, Wright. I yeah, confused. yeah, Edgar Wright would be fucking great, but they burnt ties with him. <laughs> <laughs> mm. That would have been fun. For sure. Maybe they'll bring him back, because really? that, that, that was before Marvel had, like, Kevin Feige had, like, actual control over disney because it was still mm. at the time where um whatever the like the old boss of marvel who like owned marvel was like saying that black widow would never get her own movie because women don't sell toys and stuff like that and said said that no <laughs> yes. one would care that they mm. replaced um don Ch- uh terence howard with uh, don Cheadle because they look the same and it's just like yeah Thank God he's gone. Yeah, he's still gone. there. He was in charge of the television series before Marvel made their television series. So you know how mm. the Inhuman TV show that was his idea because he got he got ah, completely awful. That was a re- that, the only movie that Marvel has never actually released when it's stated it's had a schedule is Inhumans, and that's because he wanted the Inhumans to counter the uh, X Men, and they didn't want yeah. that. But so they gave him it as a TV show, and that's why it's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> And so he was in charge of that sort of like over spearing that, and that's why Disney has distanced themselves so hard from them. I know you don't like it, but I think Agents of Show are in I like right. Agents of Show. I just haven't gone back to it because I. Yeah, but you don't like Inhumans. I mean, no, I like Inhumans. I don't like. The... You said the cop of X Men. No, I like the Inhumans in the Agents of Shield. I just didn't watch. I didn't oh, want right, to watch yeah. that crappy Inhumans TV show. That no, they no, did. no. It's all on. Yeah, I like. I like... Yeah, I like to Agents of Shield and Humans. I, 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 know, I want well. to go back to Agents of Shield. I just can't be asked at the moment because it's like fr- I've got <laughs> three seasons I think to watch. I got five, six, and seven, and I've yeah. kind of forgotten. But well, six and seven are short though. Yeah, but I've kind of forgotten what happens in all the rest, <laughs> and I'm kind of tempted. I may go back and watch it all. Just start. You can just watch a recap video. Yeah, but I kind of just don't do that. I just kind of have to go. I I probably just watch it at some stage, but I'm just like, yeah, it's not even tied in anymore. So what's the point? <laughs> Like yeah, like the the tie-ins was like oh after four the dark world they are cleaning up the rubbish, and then it's just <laughs> like wow that's super good and then hey look Lady Sif turned up or someone else from the show now they're actually having all the characters like actually tie in and stuff so it's now actually more interesting to watch. But yeah, how do you reckon Loki is? Because we know Tesseract, he's now. He's not Loki from the end of Endgame or Infinity War. No, he's a douchebag Loki. Yeah, he's douche uh, Loki after 2012 Avengers. So he's just been defeated and he has no character growth. He hasn't reconciled with Thor. He's... It's going to be interesting. He's, I, think. I think he was under the influence of Thanos at that stage because of the Mind Stone in his scepter. Mm. So... Would he still have that, or would that be broken now that he's no longer with the scepter? I think he'd be broken, but I mean, it'd be an interesting one. I'm, I guess, because that's don't, also, I don't know what the story also is dealing with the time authority or whatever it is. So they're the TVA, yeah, and so they're time, and they're also part of the Nexus, which is 
back to WandaVision, like the TV ad in WandaVision is the Nexus and she's a Nexus being and they a Nexus being is I think someone who holds the reality of the uni- the the universe together. So they're a staple across universes. Is I think mm. what a Nexus being is. So there's Yeah, it's always the same one. Yeah. So in every universe there's always, so it's always Scarlet there's, Witch. Well, what there's oh, multiple Scarlet. different characters. I think Scarlet Witch is one of them. And then so Across. Well, what that makes it interesting is in so do you reckon um, Loki is a Nexus being because he seems to be able to go everywhere. I don't and, he, know, and he's but died in, um, so many times and then come back. So in X Men, um, that Magneto is ha- is um child is Scarlet Witch. In... Yeah, yeah, yeah. They can't do so that, that though because m- they've de- they've no, never but it means yeah. that Scarlet Witch would have been the same. As Elizabeth Olsen. <laughs> well, the thing is, in Days of Future Past, Quicksilver does have a sister in the film. Yeah, yeah. So they could, theoretically, because they've confirmed in those films that Magneto is Quicksilver's dad by just kind of glossing over it and then never resolving it. And it's just like, oh, you you can do it, you know, guy. <laughs> Because <laughs> that was it, and then in Dark Phoenix, it's never mentioned again. <laughs> yeah, of course. That's the X Men films. <laughs> they love to just kind of go. Bleh. But yeah, I think, I think they could bring. I I would like it if they brought um, Michael Fassbender and James McAvoy over. I don't think they should bring everyone over. No, just those two. Those two and potentially Hugh Jackman, just because I'd really want... Because Hugh Jackman has said he <laughs> will come back if he was in a Marvel movie. Yeah, because I... everyone loves Marvel movies. Well, it's just, I think he's like, fuck, I wish I could have been a part of that. And then... But I don't know if... I don't think I would want him to... I think they should do it in Deadpool 3, where he finally comes up in a Deadpool film. But he's not... That'd be great. But he's not fucking dead... Uh, he's not Wolverine. And he's just Hugh Jackman, and then they they <laughs> have him hanging out with the replacement for the uh, Wolverine. That would be great. It might happen. It probably won't. But I at least hope they bring Hugh Jackman over, because they well, they probably won't use him as uh, Wolverine. Like they'll have Deadpool joke, "Oh, what what? Where are your claws, mate?" And he'll go, "Who the fuck are you talking about?" And then it, they'll just move on. Yeah, and another one of my predictions was Deadpool 3 would be the best Deadpool film. It's potential, depending on what they do with it. Because Ryan Reynolds now has the Disney bank and the Disney catalog. Yeah. <laughs> so they don't have to step around anything now. They can go full license to whatever they want. They can bring... But within reason. <laughs> No, I reckon Disney will let him do it. <laughs> I reckon they'll let him do it. They might do it. Because they, they can't afford to lose. Like, he's, what, been signed for multiple movie deals now? He's like nine films or something, I heard. Yeah. So they're not going to let Ryan Reynolds walk away. He's too popular an actor, and he's... Yeah. It, it isn't, wasn't Deadpool the most popular R-rated film? It well, uh, Or one of the most popular. It was one of the highest grossing. I think it beat Passion of the Christ, which they joke about in Deadpool 2. I don't know if it's been yeah. beaten yet, but I think it might have been. I'm sure Justice League will beat it because Justice Leagues are rated. Yeah, oh, great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, as of October 2020, the highest grossing Amit Fute was The Passion of Christ. Oh, no way. They joked that he get, got second by like inflation or whatever. I think it is the yeah. highest without inflation. But what what yes. else have we got? We got we got Hawkeye. See, I'm not really fussed about the Hawkeye thing. I honestly forgot it was coming out. I'm I don't care. <laughs> I mean, I like Haley um, Steinfeld. She's good. Yeah. I'm just once again. It depends how Marvel does it. Like Marvel, are very good at just taking characters no one knows about and they just make them great well, everyone knows Hawkeye he was in the first Avengers and in that yeah even they joke about the second one I was like yeah I, I'm pretty irrelevant <laughs> yeah <laughs> but I reckon this is gonna be him trying to atone for all of Endgame basically where he just goes around stabbing people <laughs> in Hong Kong he'll, he'll it will be interesting I kind of do wish they kept his child like his daughter though 
instead of making her dust in Endgame. And then you could have had her, him training her in an. Yeah, but the whole thing isn't like, he's like, training his daughter. It's him training a successor that isn't because he wants to. He wants... Oh, I thought it was his daughter. No, no, no. It's not his daughter. It's um a completely uh, different person. Um, Kate Bishop. That's not his daughter. Um, it's just a uh, complete random. I think like teenager. He like takes under his wing to try and train her up to be the successor to Hawkeye. If you, I think they're doing. I think she's now in the Avengers game. <laughs> so. Like oh and well, the, and the, uh, there's <laughs> the, the... forgettable game. Yeah, I, I haven't played it in ages. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, so I think it's him training up a successor so that he can go and spend time with his family or and atone for his sins of the past that he's had. So it's probably him kind of regretting doing Tokyo and killing everyone because his family disappeared, and then five years later they all come back. So you know, it's a bit regrettable. Yeah. Um, I also think Shang Chi might become a forgettable film. I don't know. Depends on what they do, because they've set up the Legend of the Ten Rings from the very first film. Because the organization yeah. that takes Tony Stark hostage is the Ten Rings, and then the Iron Man free the Mandarin is revealed to be a fake. But then there's a real Mandarin reveal in a one shot. So <laughs> it depends. One shot. I mean. I'm not. This is one of the least interesting ones I've got, but I think, like Guardians of the Galaxy, it has the potential to be drag characters that no one really knows and bring them into the forefront. I just I don't see it becoming. It depends on where on. Like I reckon. Good. <laughs> well, it's martial arts, so I I don't know if it's if. It's just kung fu. It has, it just he has no other powers and just being good at kung fu. Yeah, but so did um. Iron Fist, and everyone didn't really like that. So. Exactly. But the thing point. is, Dan, there's a movie coming up that everyone's super excited for, though it's pretty much just Kung Fu, and it's called Street, uh, Mortal Kombat. And everyone's yeah, looking forward to That's based off the game, isn't it? Yeah, but this is based off... It's going to be bad. People are going to watch it and be like, oh, this thing's terrible. Yeah, but it could be so bad it's good, and that could be just what Marvel needs. <laughs> Maybe. I mean, I... I, I I'm not saying it'd be bad. I just think it'd be forgettable. I don't think. Like, oh yeah, that happened. I don't think it's gonna crack a billion, which is what they want. Or I don't. I, no, I, I can't see I, it. I don't reckon it will crack a billion one because of a pandemic, and not many people are gonna go back to the cinemas. Uh, mm. <laughs> I reckon Black Widow could potentially, if they time it right, everyone wanting to go back to the way things were. And well, I've actually got on my list that Black Widow will be the worst performing Marvel film. Well, yeah, but that's not its fault. It could be the best Marvel movie, and it would still probably do bad. That's the problem. Because if yeah. they release it on Disney+, Plus, it's still not going to make as much money as they want. It's not going to crack a billion, because they don't have enough subscribers, and they don't have enough people potentially paying 30 quid, or however much they've charged, 20 quid, or whatever it's going to be. Um, and if they release it in cinemas now, we're not open in the UK. America is barely open. The rest of the world's kind of open. Most European states aren't open, so yeah, it's not just not big money. It's is not it? going to come out, uh, and then they can't afford to keep pushing everything back. So they'll they might just have to bite the bullet and release it on Disney Plus and take the loss. Maybe just to keep their schedule. Or they might because I said I think they said they don't want to do half and half. No, I don't think they want to do the uh, Warner Brothers approach where they just release everything at once. Because I think. Yeah. I think as much as people say Disney is killing the cinematic experience, they kind of want to keep the cinema experience. Yeah, they make, they make so much money from it. Yeah, but I right, think how much money they made from Endgame. They didn't make much from Endgame. Joker made made a billion. Yeah, but you think it cost half a billion to make between yeah, because what... you, you got to think it made it cost two hundred and fifty million to make it. 250 million in marketing because you double the budget for marketing. Yeah, yeah. So they spent half a billion making it and marketing it to make just over a billion with it. So yeah, they it's made two billion. Yeah, but you got two point seven. Yeah. Uh, two point yeah, two point seven something like that because it's close to three billion. Um, but we we'll talk about that on the TFE this week. Because some stuff's coming up that might threaten its title as the highest grossing. Okay, uh, you haven't seen this, so we will wait. Yeah, uh, <laughs> tease for next week's <laughs> TFE. Um, but yeah, I think I don't think 
I reckon out of all of them, yeah, you're right. Probably Shang Chi or Eternals will probably be the lowest like grossing of them because it's not a property yeah. anyone knows, but they have the potential to be good, and it depends on how they like they like run it basically. It's gonna have to be something like another Guardians of the Galaxy. I mean, not a copy of Guardians of the Galaxy, but do the same thing. Do you want to? Okay, I've been like... quickly out of Black Widow, Shang Chi, Eternals, Spider Man, Doctor Strange, Four, Black Panther, Captain Marvel, Ant Man, Guardians, and Fantastic Four, which are the ones that are confirmed to be like movies. Which one do you reckon's gonna gross the most? I No Way Home. I'm saying Four, Love and Thunder. I reckon No Way Home. You sure? I reckon it's between, well, and I'm, 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 I, I agree. If it with, wasn't a pandemic, no way home. <laughs> I agree with you. I think either Spider Man Four or Black Panther, and potentially Guardians, but I think maybe not Guardians. I reckon it's definitely. From, from what I can tell right now, there's a lot of hype surrounding No Way Home. I also think after Full Ragnarok, Rock, there's a lot of hype surrounding Fall Love and Thunder, <laughs> and. Yeah, but Spider Man. <laughs> Spider Man. I agree. I agree. I did. I do think. It, I think Spider Man, but pandemic. So I don't think it will gross them. Yeah, I think that's the only problem. If it wasn't the pand, if there wasn't the pandemic, I'd say it's a clean. I would, yeah. I would say Spider Man, no chance. Like no the reason I say else. Black Panther two is because the death of Chadwick Boseman. People want to go see in honor of him. Plus, they'll want to see what Marvel yeah. does, and also. The power of Black Panther, it made a billion with a brand new property. And I reckon that momentum will keep going, especially with all the newfound love of Chadwick Boseman and like people wanting to see what Marvel does to honor and like continue the legacy of that character. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I just, I just don't see it. I reckon, I reckon performing the same as the last Black Panther. I don't think it would grow. The thing is, it's one of. Not many Marvel movies that made a billion, because as much as they make, the only the sort of later tail end of stuff made a billion. Like all the other stuffs, kind of sat at like seven hundred fifty million plus. Mm, yeah, yeah. So like Black Panther, I think Captain Marvel, Iron Man, Free, uh, all the Avengers. So, only one Spider Man's broken a billion, so. Yeah, the first one ever, which is why Sony wanted it back. Well, it's the, it's <laughs> it was the, like, oh, um, <laughs> money. Highest grossing Sony property. Uh, exactly, yeah. No, well, because Marvel. It's like the, the Marvel, yeah, Marvel, the Marvel fi- brand Marvel itself. fixed their universe and kind of corrected what they did wrong. But yeah, I reckon it's between four, Spider- well, maybe Doctor Strange now because of WandaVision. Yeah, I was thinking that as well. But it depends on it. Mm. Well, I'm I, of all of them, I'm most excited for Doctor Strange. I just realized there's five fucking Marvel movies releasing in 2022. <laughs> well, yes, like, um, I think Phase 5 is supposed to be over by the end of next year, is it not? Or is it now pushed to 2023 now? I don't know. I don't know what the end or of phase the phase four is. Over, sorry. Originally, Phase 4 was two years. I, I thought the year... Which is 2021 and 2022. I thought uh, it, maybe it finishes after 2022. I don't know. I don't know what the phases are anymore because they keep moving everything around. So. I'm trying to think what was in the original Phase Four plan. Captain Marvel, Captain Marvel wasn't in Phase Four. No, because they hadn't announced that yet. They hadn't announced Guardians yet. They hadn't announced Black Panther. I think it's after Four Love and Thunder. Yeah, because I think I all of the five. other stuff they hadn't announced yet. So I think Four Love and Thunder was the last one that they'd announced. So I think Four Love and Thunder is the last, and then everything else came out. I think. It was the the what if TV series was the last of Phase Four in terms of TV shows, and then everything else after that: Miss Marvel, Hawkeye, Moon Knight, She Hulk, Guardians of the Galaxy, Holiday Special, Secret Invasion, Ironheart, Armor Wars, and the Untitled Wakanda series were all announced in that press conference. Yeah, what you? That's how I just heard noise. That really threw me off. Do I? I'm just kind of curious as to what they're going to do with Iron, uh, like Ironheart and Armor Wars, because those are the Iron Man. I'm worried for those shows. I think Armor Wars can be good because I like Don Cheadle, like, and yeah, but and, 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 and if they bring like time. Justin Hammer back and all of the past, Mar- uh, like Iron Man villains that 
like if they bring back um some other people i can't remember or bring in new characters who like have all tried to make iron man suits and just, just it's just him going around destroying them and having like actual ramifications for tony stark's like i as much as i, I like marvel are you not worried there's too many marvel properties coming out I would say that if their track record wasn't as good as it was. Yeah. Because I unlike Star Wars, where I'm like, there's probably too much Star Wars because like, only three of them are actually probably any good, and the rest are all kind of just meh, or average. Mm. And then you've got like, stuff like Mandalorian, uh, Empire, and then for me, Last Jedi. And whatnot, people are gonna hate me for that. <laughs> <laughs> um, and for me personally, ep- uh, episode three, Revenge of the Sith, because I'm just like that's a classic fucking lightsaber. Best. That is a great film. I love yeah. that film. That's that's the best one out of all the Star Wars films I've seen. Yeah. Um, and I'm just like, yeah, you've probably got like a sixty forty percent good on Star Wars. Marvel is probably closer to like eighty out of. Uh-huh. Well, I wouldn't say any of them are bad. <laughs> like, no, but I mean... Star Wars have actually got bad films. Yeah, I mean, Disney has, like, a couple missteps and stuff. Like, if you if you encompass everything, like, some of their Netflix stuff isn't great. Some of their um, TV shows aren't... Like, movies aren't great. Like, I, even though I love it, Iron Man 2 isn't well-received. For, uh, for the Dark World isn't well-received. Like, the earlier stuff no. isn't great. Like, there's some missteps, even with newer stuff. Like, I mean, if Disney hasn't, if their track record hadn't gone, hey, look, we make pretty good stuff. It might not be the pinnacle of cinema, but it's enjoyable and watchable, and it will keep the cinema going experience alive. You know, I'm kind of like, yeah, and I like having, like, I like how they can interconnect everything. They keep doing it well. So, I mean, if it was like an X-Men and it was continuing the X-Men thing, I'd be like, ugh. Not more X Men, because they just don't care about the continuity. It's like uh, Justice League and uh, DC and stuff. Their continuity is all over the place, and kind of like, whilst that's it, uh, if the film's good, I will let it slide. But most of the time, the stuff isn't good, so I I don't no. want to let it slide. Like the reason people hate the X Men films are because, like, the continuity is all over the place, the film quality is all over the place, and it's just kind of annoying. Whereas Marvel is consistently semi consistent and consistently good. I think, as much as people say everyone's the same, they have a lot of variety in the Marvel films. Well, whereas all the X Men films are all the same X Men characters. Yeah, they they're they're, they're, they're scared to bring anyone ones. new in, and when they do, they just kind of put them on the side and go, "Hey, look, we brought someone new in," and then they don't do anything. Yeah, whereas Marvel, I know they have, I know um, Iron Man was in a lot of the films, but for the most part, each film is a, most of them are different stories, different characters, different directors, different everything. Yeah. And when and when they do try and do something different, like with WandaVision, everyone goes, Why isn't it Marvel? Why aren't you doing Marvel? <laughs> After everyone complaining, it's always the same. Yeah. Why isn't it the same? Yeah, why isn't it the same thing we wanted to come to expect? And we're like, But we don't want it to be something we expect. And then when they do something that we don't expect, everyone complains. Yeah, you... I think it's good. They have, they have to just keep innovating with yeah. films, keep changing it up. Try to make new things each time, which is I think they're doing about the whole of Phase Four. Well, your favorite film is what the Winter Soldier. Yeah, yeah, and that's a spy movie. That's a Captain America spy. At that point, it was like completely different. That's the whole. Yeah, and uh, to be fair, it's still an outsider for all other films. Yeah, Guardians of the Galaxy is their Star Wars. It's why they're getting a holiday special to take the piss out of the Star Wars holiday special. I'm actually, hey, I'm looking forward to that one. <laughs> that's be great. And I mean. Ant Man is a heist film. Captain Marvel is a female empowerment film, even though it kind of st- <laughs> that's just stupid genre. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I reckon if they didn't push the female empowerment thing on that, they would have still made a billion, and people wouldn't have been so fucking pissed off about that. There's no reason to do it. <laughs> so stupid. Well, I think they were trying to fucking catch up for the fact that they'd fucked up, not giving Black Widow her own movie, and they let DC let Wonder Woman have her own movie before them. Yeah. That's They're like, trying to do catch up. Even then, it's like, why are you, why are you doing this? Like, just, just let the character be. Yeah. 
You don't need to advertise it as that. Also, the message was so mixed in the film. <laughs> because she then... It, the, the whole female empowerment thing is comes down to she fights a Cree alien inside her own head that's a woman and she's trying to be female empowerment but she's fighting yeah, a, a woman yeah, in yeah. her own head and it's kind of like well that doesn't make any sense it's pretty stupid I like the, I like <laughs> the movie but it has its shortcomings I hope Captain Marvel 2 fixes some of that brings in like characters that are good because apparently it's going to have Miss Marvel and um, what's her face from Monica Rambeau yeah that's the one and who I think they're going to name Photon, is it rumoured? Why well, isn't that the character's name in the comics? So I'd imagine. They've had multiple names in the comics. They think it's going to be Photon now. Yeah. Based on what happened in one division. What the fuck are her powers? Because she just gets shot by... Energy. I've been able to um become energy, basically. Yeah. I did not get that. I thought she was just turned to jelly and just had bullets just go through her. And... No, I, I think her torso turned into a kind of pure energy. Or the energy from the bullets. Ricocheted off into <laughs> kind of looked like orange jelly. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what it looked like. Uh, so one of my last theories was, what do you think will happen? Or question, she said, instead of a theory, what do you think the next Infinity Saga are going to be? I reckon if they're doing it, they'll either do Galactus, which, mm-hmm. or if. I reckon there's a couple potentials. There's either Galactus, if they really wanted to do like an actual human story, they could set up Doctor Doom, because yeah. he is insanely powerful in the comics and has like a tragic backstory. His mother's killed. He, like, cr- he is the ruler of a sovereign nation and he has diplomatic immunity, so he can't be attacked. And if they do, it's a treason and all of that, and they can be put on trial. Uh, and he's they they want to use the Fantastic Four, right? So, or with Ant Man and the Wasp, it's been confirmed that Kang the Conqueror is in it. So, multi universal time travel shenanigans, where they bring back characters from the past. They bring back, they do a swung song like Endgame, where they go back in time. And I don't want that one mainly because no. I think they'll bring. Like characters back that shouldn't come back, like Iron Man or Captain America. Well, have you heard of Secret Wars? Yeah, that's the um, Kree Scroll uh, invasion where. No, that's Secret Invasion. Wait, which one's Secret Invasion? Secret Invasion is the, the, the Scroll stuff. Yeah, what, what did you say? Secret Wars. Oh, that's um, isn't that they? What was the Secret Wars? I can't remember. So Secret Wars, um. It's all, It's basically the death of the, the it involves the destruction of the Marvel universe and and Marvel universe and other alternate universes. Oh right, that's how Miles Morales comes into it, isn't it? Yeah, and so it, there's basically like a massive group of all the past Marvel villains come together and fight like a huge group of Marvel heroes together, and it's like a twelve series comic book that lasted over a year. Don't all the universes call or like two of the universes collide and that's how they get like some of the characters to cross over and now it's just one universe. Yeah, it's basically one of the biggest Marvel events. It's huge. It involves so many characters. Mm. See, I... I I would worry about it, but I they could do it. They could. But they might have to spend it with three films. I don't think they would do it. Mainly because they've got a lot of building blocks that they can use like they've got multiverses madness stuff they've got secret invasions coming up in a tv series with like nick fury and stuff so if they were going to do uh scroll invasion that would probably be a big threat where they have like all the marvel characters being taken over by scrolls and then imitated Mm -hmm. i reckon that might be the far far future if they want to wrap everything up and end it all but yeah sequel wars like this is a massive thing I, I, I kind of hope they do do it as one of the final things that would be a good finale the whole show the whole marvel universe i reckon they'll do that but they have to get like galactus doctor doom well yeah galactus doctor doom Kang the congo all part of the secret i know i, I know i mean wars. that I, but i mean they'd have to do like like galactus comes in to try and destroy the, the planet and then yeah, they have to do all of them beforehand. Yeah. Like that's the point. Like, it's, it would have to be a three-part film or something at the end. 
or one just it's, it's just that big a story film like, it's, it's such a massive story in the comics mm. it wouldn't you can't cover it in two films it'd have to be three yeah and even then it'd be a struggle it checks out. but uh yeah i reckon i don't know do you think they'll redo um dark phoenix I still reckon I still reckon they'll use Wanda as the Dark Phoenix replacement. <laughs> I don't think they will. Because I think it's a bit of a weird thing. No, because I don't think they have enough time to set up. Um, what's her face? Jane? J- no, what's the fuck? Jean Grey. Jane Grey. Jean Grey. Or Jean, Jean, Jean Grey. Grey. I don't think they have enough time to set her up. I mean, they could, but I reckon they'll use Wanda as the replacement because. No, I reckon they will do it, but it just it would just be a lot longer. It'd be like next maybe ten years or something. Yeah, but I think I <laughs> think Wanda it. and um, Dark Phoenix, like Wanda's um, Scarlet Witch and the Dark Phoenix, are too similar. And I think if they did Wanda's tale now and it looks similar, they won't use it for Dark Phoenix. And I don't think they want to step on Dark Phoenix, so I reckon they'll use Wanda as the Dark Phoenix replacement because. I reckon, I, I reckon Phoenix, but I reckon it'll be a long time. I don't think so. I think people will burn. I don't think people Marvel will want to use Dark Phoenix storyline because they'll use a diff. They'll want to try and use more characters that we haven't seen before, and so the yeah. I reckon they'll sideline the like the main cast that we've already seen in a hundred movies and whatnot, and they'll go for more like unique characters that they can actually like build up and make interesting and people love, and then they'll bring in the new cast. And then they won't utilize, like, the Dark Phoenix storyline because we've seen it twice now and it's been bad twice now. Yeah, but because they haven't done it right twice. They've just made their own. That's that's why I'm saying it will be the Dark Phoenix storyline, but it will be Wanda and it will be Wanda's version of the Dark Phoenix storyline. That's just House of M. (laughs) That's what I mean. They're too similar, so they'll do Wanda because they've built up Wanda. They won't have to do all the back work of um, building up a Jane, Jane, um. Jean Grey. I keep saying Jane because I'm thinking Jane Foster yeah. for door four. I would be really surprised if they don't do it. To be honest, I I really do think they will do it. Just I I can see it happening. They will have four X Men films, the same as four Avengers films, and the last two X Men films will be Dark Phoenix. Ah, uh... but they'll do two films to be Dark Phoenix, and not just cram it into one film like every other limited thing does. Dark Phoenix, I think, is the biggest story comic book saga ever. Like it's it's a thick book, a comic. Like it's like an inch thick a comic book story. I know it's a massive story. I I do, and they never do it right. Exactly, and I think Disney will go. Well, look, they tried it twice. They didn't set up the groundwork. We can set it up, or we can utilize a character that we've already set up the groundwork to, and do a similar story. And we don't have to worry about people comparing it to the Dark Phoenix saga. And if they do, I mean, once and if they do. They'll say it's the better version and what Fox should have done. Because they won't be utilizing the Dark Phoenix. They'll be utilizing Wanda, a similar character with immense power. I mean, they should have just not done another one <laughs> in the X-Men films. No, they should have left. They should just, actually, they should have just not released it and be like, no, 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 we're going to do our own version. <laughs> I think they had to release it. Yeah, I think they had to. They didn't want to, though. So it wasn't, they, weren't, they didn't push it. They just like, okay, get out. Yeah. Forget it. So many new mutants. Well, that was the thing with New Mutants. They were like, oh, there were so many rumors that they'd reshot that film so that it would um, tie in with the MCU. And then it... the Marvel were like, nah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, we don't want to be associated with this movie. I still need to watch it. Uh, yeah, I'm dreading it. One day we'll do a review <laughs> once, once we can watch it. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be a big one for that one. Yeah. Just to talk about the big bear that's in it. Woo. But we're coming up now. Is there anything else you want to say? Uh, I was just saying I think Iron Man will come back at some point. I don't want him. In some way. I I think maybe I, even if it's like an AI or a, a video, but I reckon he'll make a cameo I, at some point. He's, like in Ironheart, I reckon he may come back as a like voice. Like she'll find an Iron Man suit with pre-recorded messages that she'll alter to make a like Alexa style AI assistant where it's just prompt. I'm so glad you said that, not me. Well, I don't have Alexa in my room. <laughs> I have Google. So yes. she won't pop up. Uh, and I think the only other one I think might happen is White Vision might become Normal Vision again. Maybe. Because they, they did hint at Normal Vision coming back in Division. Spoiler alert. Yeah. I mean, 
I'd, I'd like just dead non-emotion vision who has all the memories of vision just wandering around <laughs> going what the fuck why did i like any of these people yeah <laughs> just like really grumpy all the time mm. and i think that's it yeah i don't have much more to say do you reckon there'll be any surprise like cameos that you think like who would you like to see pop up in one of these i would love for i know, I know you said it wouldn't happen but i'd love to see deadpool do what Stanley did. Yeah, I I like that idea of him being the Stanley replacement, where he do, like dresses up as Stanley and just yeah. but still in full Deadpool costume. I think it'd be so great, but I don't think they ever do it. Nah, if they would have done it, they would have done it nowish. Although maybe it's a bit too soon. I don't know. Maybe they have. Maybe it's in Black Widow. <laughs> you never know. He has signed on for nine films. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. None ten. of them are cameo films, though. It's, it's nine actual. You never know. Things not cameos. Apparently, the cameos do don't count for things. So. Yeah. So like, well, maybe maybe he might be in um, Doctor Strange two and then Spider Man as well. Then. Yeah. I mean, they set it up pretty well in um the end of Deadpool two, where they just go. He's jumping around times, kills himself, kills Deadpool, kills him when he's yeah. accepting the script <laughs> for Green Lantern. But yeah, I think I think that's a good place to leave it. I think yes. I'm just trying to think if I'd like anyone to turn up. I'd like them to do maybe Red Hulk, like finally pay off like General Ross, and I think in uh, Civil War that blood sample, whatever the the uh, cross, uh, crossbones is trying to get out of, like that um, biological weapon. I think that's Hulk's blood. And I'd like to see if that pays off at some point. Because Red Hulk is like the red version of Hulk and he's got a mustache. And it's just like General Ross is that character. And I think if they did, it'd be a TV show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it would probably be She-Hulk if they introduced it. Because it will be an old retired Bruce Banner who's still Hulk, Professor Hulking. And I, I, I reckon how they're going to do She-Hulk is it's going to be... Because Bruce Banner's now got control of the Hulk, he can now have sort of a sort of by like he'll, he'll still do the blood transplant thing but now that now that the thing is calmed she'll get that and she'll turn into she hulk because she has control over it as well like, yeah maybe like she can control it so she's not raised field she just gets the strength with none of the anger so i think now that they've done professor hulk that will be their solution to how she just somehow is calm and hasn't have any rage Maybe, maybe, but we'll have to wait and see. And next week we're gonna start um, Falcon Winter Soldier. Yeah, and we'll be popping up weekly episodes on our YouTube channel. Uh, and then we're gonna do something completely different for the uh, f- uh, TBO that will come out. Yeah. S- so we don't have another two-hour episode. I like that two-hour episode. <laughs> but we're probably going to be doing weekly episodes, just our quick thoughts, feelings, emotions on it, and then we'll pop back six weeks later, and we'll go, hey, look, what's our overall roundup of what we liked, what we didn't like, sort of thing. But you can still catch our weekly thoughts and stuff, like more Easter eggy videos out on Fridays. Yes. Uh, so check out our YouTube channel. Um, I think the link is in the description. Yep, should be. And we'll See you next week or on Monday for our TFEs. See you next week. Peace out. Bye.